6 is learning a battleground police sergeant died in August from an overdose while in his office. Yeah, that's according to the medical examiner. The ME says Sergeant Richard Kelly likely died from ingesting both meth and fentanyl in his police office. Brandon Thompson digging deeper into what we know about his death, Brandon. And the ME's report also notes that this is likely on purpose and not accidental. Investigators found fentanyl on Sergeant Kelly's desk. While they don't know exactly where it came from, it's consistent with fentanyl battleground police seized earlier that day. On August 10th, battleground police Sergeant Richard Kelly was found unconscious in his office. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The same day, Police Chief Mike Fort called the Vancouver police to start an outside investigation into Kelly's death. That report was completed on October 18th and today the first public announcement of the cause of his death. Vancouver police tell us they found fentanyl on his desk next to a rolled up straw consistent with inhaling the powder. We asked VPD if investigators know where the drugs came from. We're told battleground police seized a quote sizable unquote amount of fentanyl that day and while the substances cannot be matched, the fentanyl seized is chemically consistent with what was found on Kelly's desk. It's prompted Chief Fort to call for an independent audit analyzing the department's property and evidence procedures, including how narcotics that are seized are handled. We asked the Clark County Prosecuting Attorney's Office if they're concerned about evidence from battleground police. They have not answered that question just yet, but the attorney's office says they are reviewing the VPD report to see if any government employee broke the law in this case. Battleground Police Union's contract says no employee would be disciplined for seeking help for substance abuse and sets the standards for when drug testing is required, but does not lay out any procedure for randomly testing employees. Fort was not available for an interview when I asked today and says in a statement, quote, substance abuse is a serious problem that often goes unsuspected and undetected. As a community, we need to support local efforts to assist anyone struggling with the effects of mental health and substance abuse so they may achieve recovery. And to clarify, the ME's report found that it was likely intentional to ingest the drugs. Now, Chief Fort is retiring in January. That was announced a week ago, though I'm told that his retirement has been planned and in the works since May. You know, whenever we do these stories, we think of the people on the streets. We see the pictures, and this shows you it affects everybody, even a professional police officer. Yeah, so many people. All right. Brandon, thank you.